So when you come in here, you pull that first pack, very easy, straightforward, okay? Run towards this leaf, just by the rock. Doesn't have to be anything specific, just in this general direction. From here, this is where you have to be specific, okay? You're going to be looking for this spot right here. You're going to see this line that goes up, and it kind of trees out. Looks a little bit like a triangle. You're going to walk right from here. you got to watch out for this pad. This pad eventually does come back. But as long as you do this fast enough, it's fine. Go to that triangle. Perfect. Jump up, tap forward. There we are. We're on the ledge. Now we're going right from where we are to that little black dot. Okay. Perfect. No pull either side. I don't think this should pull either. Good. Now, when we get to this point, when we jump off, you have to still be careful. You're not jumping out this way. You're not jumping out this way. You'll still pull them mid, uh, midway through the jump. And then you'll have to deal with a reset. So all you need to worry about is facing pretty much almost the same direction that you came, that same angle. But you're going to look out here. You're going to see these blue squares in the middle of the pathway. You're going to see one right there. See one a little bit further. This is the one that we're going to be facing towards. You're going to face to the right side of it. Okay. You just walk off. Turn around, blink. You can blink in a couple different locations. I blink here simply because, as you saw, that pat was away. I'm going to pull this. I can pull them while they're not. Uh, I was a little bit late on it because I was explaining. Should be okay. All right. So we just pull this down into this area because... We can kill these two packs, and then we can check for the book. And if the book's not here, then we move on. So this is where the book should be. Roughly, just right in around here. Be like, right around here. But there's no book, right? Nothing there. No problem, guys. Hopefully that helped. Oh, I see it all opening up. The stars are aligning. Here it is. Boom. Uh, I might have pulled that just a hair too fast. But we'll see. I think I'm okay. No book here, right? This is where the book would be. No book here, so we just move on. Now, these guys are actually going right now, so I'm going to check this really quick here. I think I can time it better on my way in hitting these than hitting them on my way out. Oh man, if I get some more tubers here, this is going to be awesome. Let's go, baby. Oh, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, that's like, it's literally 5G every time I get about 9 or 10 of those. <laughs> That's so amazing. More about voiding the packs in here. Sure. <clears throat> I can do that. These might turn around, yeah. Not too much about it. I mean, you just really have to watch. There's three paths in the middle here. This is a little zone. One on the wide. Which is what we might see here on our way back. Right there, yeah.
So in this next part, guys, there's always going to be one pat. One stealth pat here somewhere. There he is. Okay, so there's sometimes a little uh, ad right here, depends on the seed. Now, when I'm pulling this pack here, I'm gonna pull them back into this first pack that's back here, but when I wand, I want to wand the guy that's farthest. It's just a good habit to get into when you're pulling packs in general. Let's say this was a pack of those lashers, okay? And let's say that they are chaining too much. What do I mean by chaining? They're actually creating a chain. They're creating a line. They're too much in a line. They need to be more clumped. By you wanding the back, they'll actually cause this guy to start his motion first and then face pull aggro on everything else so it's better to pull the furthest guy because he's gonna move in and then face pull everything else and they'll probably be fairly clumped overall so let's look so he's pulling see there's the other face pull now if I pulled this guy this guy would have been way out in front Anything that you're doing for um, AOE wise, you probably want to have movement speed on your boots. Sometimes people don't have that, it's very debilitating. <laughs> 